G'day and welcome to the accompanying video to the manual for our P51D Mustang. This video is set up in chapters and you can either use the chapter settings here on YouTube or the direct links in the manual. To change the loadout of the P51 you will need to use the loadout window accessible from the in-game doodad, this little drop down area up here. Opening up the fuel or weight window brings up this window here. And as you can see, we currently have two external fuel tanks. So we shall now remove and then show them right now. One note, these tanks are not visually available on the civilian versions of the P-51. The settings still exist, so if you want to cheat, then you still can fill the tanks here, just that you will not see them. As you remove the fuel from either tank, you will see in the background that the tank also visually disappears. Moving this slider down to zero, you will see that the left tank has now disappeared. If the bombs have no weight in them, which they don't here, then this also removes the hard point, giving you what is called a clean Mustang. If, however, the bombs do have weight in them and you remove the fuel tank, then first you will probably get an earful from the base commander, but also the bombs will show. This is because the fuel tank takes precedence over the bomb loadout. We should probably remove the right-hand fuel tank. You do that by sliding that down to zero, or just adding in the zero point here. With the fuel now unloaded, you can now add the bomb loadouts. These are 500 pound bombs. So adding 500 pounds in this area right here adds the bomb to that side. I shall add 500 and hit end and you will see that the left wing here now has a 500 pound bomb. As the ground crew it is your job to ensure that the weight of the aircraft is correctly balanced. This is quite obviously not. So we shall add a bomb to the right hand side. That has now balanced the aircraft. The other thing that you can do is remove the pilot to give you that ready-to-fly look. This works with both the World War II pilot option as well as the stock Asobo pilot option. I will do this now. Taking the weight of the pilot down to zero and hitting enter removes the pilot. That will allow you, since we are using the drone, to get right deep and personal up with the P-51. The microphone button enables and disables the WEP functionality, or War Emergency Power functionality. The WEP is not actually engaged till the throttle is in the full forward position. I am using the joystick on my desktop right now. So here it is with the stick throttle all the way forward. And it isn't breaking into the War Emergency Power gate area. I'll just zoom in to let you have a look at that. You can hear my mouse this area right here. So with the, the throttle in full, it's not cutting the wire. However, if I scroll out a little bit and click the Enable WEP button, it is now enabled. As I move my throttle forward, the throttle can then cut the wire and start WEP. Like so. And you can see that the cutter is moving with the throttle. To disable this, of course, you can just click the button and it will never set through the WEP area. WEP works the same way as it has always worked in these games. You need full throttle, obviously. Also, damage will occur if you use the WEP for too long, so be very careful of that. Okay, this one is tricky. We highly recommend that you practice this like you did with the clutch in your car or the friction zone on your motorbike. So in the real Mustang, the tailwheel lock was engaged with a gentle back pressure on the yoke. And it was disengaged with a gentle forward pressure on the yoke. For the game, this has been changed ever so slightly. Due to people's different sensitivities and calibrations, we have made it so that you need a lot of back pressure on the stick 
and moderate pressure on the front. In testing it was found that people's calibrations and sensitivities were different. So what we're going to do now is do a slow taxi. Currently the tail wheel lock is off. If you're not sure and you have the accurate tail wheel lock functionality turned on and it is on by default, then just a slight forward on your joystick on your, de on your desktop will make sure that the tail wheel lock is in fact off. I shall gently bring the revs up, very gently. She's a bit skittish in the end on the throttle. And as we gain a little bit of speed, I shall move the rudder. As you can see, I've got full rudder deflection and I'm moving in the direction that I wish to do. Slow down just a little bit by lowering my throttle and we shall now go to in the other direction. Full lock. Full lock. I will now move the joystick all the way to the back. You should see my elevators react as well. I now have locked the tail wheel lock. To test this we shall move full left and full right on the joystick, rudder and I am getting absolutely no movement whatsoever. Now as I slow the plane down a little bit more I will moderately push forward on the joystick and now I have full control of the plane again. We know that this can be quite difficult and if you don't want to practice or you just want to have a simple aircraft to take off we have coded in the ability to allow for a normal tail wheel lock. This switch on the right cycles through the different options so currently it's in the default mode which is the accurate mode and the tooltip will tell you that as well. If I click once it will now turn the tail wheel lock off. What that means is in the outside here should I wish to move the plane I can move the plane with rudder deflection left or right and I can move my elevators up and down and it had absolutely no effect whatsoever on the tail wheel lock. That's fine, you might say, but what if I need to get in and use a tail wheel lock? If we go back into the interior here and just click the button, sorry, the switch, up once more to tail wheel lock on, and we'll go back to the outside, you will now see, or hopefully we'll see, let's put it up here, I now have absolutely no authority whatsoever in the direction that the P-51 is going in. As you can see. Now I'm going to hit those things on the ground, so uh, I'm going to just put my brakes on. And I will just click once more to make it into the full accurate. Did he hit it? No, he didn't. 